Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video shows you how to replace the receiver logic board on a garage door opener. The method for replacing AC and DC logic boards is the same. In this video, we will only be demonstrating how to replace a DC board. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Always wear gloves and eye protection when working around the battery compartment. Before you start, unplug the garage door opener. If the garage door opener has a battery, it needs to be disconnected. Open the light lens and remove the light bulb and set it aside. Remove the screw and take off the battery cover. Disconnect the leads to the battery. Open the light lens on the opposite side of the opener and remove the light bulb and set it aside. Label the wires in the Quick Connect terminals so that you can replace them in the same order on the new board. Disconnect the wires by pushing in each tab with the tip of a flat screwdriver and pulling the wire out. Take off the end panel of the garage door opener by removing the four screws near each corner. Unplug the wire harness from the logic board. Remove the old board from the end panel by taking out the two screws. Release the two clips, lift out the board, and pull the antenna out of the end panel. To avoid damaging your new logic board, make sure that you don't touch any of the electronic circuits when you're installing it. Install the new board by snapping it into the clips, feeding the antenna wire through the holes, and fastening the board with the two screws. Carefully connect the wire harness to the new board. All wires must be properly aligned and the connectors fully plugged in for the opener to function properly. Reattach the end panel to the garage door opener. Reconnect the labeled wires for the door control and safety sensors. Install the light bulb. To maintain the warranty, put the new label over the existing one on the end panel. Next, reconnect the leads to the battery. Replace the battery compartment cover. Replace the light bulb. And close the light lens. Make sure that the antenna wires are hanging straight down. Now, plug in the garage door opener. The new receiver logic board is now installed. Before operating the garage door, you'll need to program the travel. Be sure to test the safety reversal system when this is done. You'll also need to program your remote controls. To program a remote control, press and release the Learn button on your garage door opener. Then, press and hold the button you want to program on your remote control. When the light bulbs flash or a click is heard from the garage door opener, your remote control has been programmed. Repeat these steps for each remote control you need to program. Be sure to test each remote control. If the garage door opener doesn't activate, follow the programming steps again for that remote control. If you have a Wi-Fi or MyQ garage door opener, be sure to follow the instructions for setting up your MyQ account using the new MyQ serial number on the label that came with the replacement logic board. After you replace the logic board, you will need to remove all MyQ devices from your MyQ account. Once all MyQ devices have been removed, you may add them back to your account. Be sure to connect your Wi-Fi garage door opener to your home network before adding the MyQ serial number to your MyQ account. Click the info icon for more information. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Be sure to check out our other products and accessories when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com.